three best books for your IELTS academic reading test practice. This is what I'm going to talk about in this video. If choosing the right reading test material has become a burden for you, then this video will be valuable to you. So come along with me. Do you want to know how to freely access these books? If yes, then this video will be of much value to you. If today is your first time seeing my channel, my name is Setsuda Ajumai. You can simply call me Kobe. He had band 7 in the reading test. He scored band 7.5 and this lady right here had 6.0 on the first sitting and then 5.5 on the second sitting. What made the difference in the following scores? Well, I think it points down to two factors. Number one, the quality of the practice materials used. And then number two, the quality of practice, whether you learn by yourself or attend classes. Taking into consideration the two factors I talked about, I will focus on the first one. That is the quality of practice materials for the IELTS academic reading test. Hence, they need to share with you the three books for the IELTS reading test. I know you may have one or two or even all the books I'll be talking about here. However, if you haven't got any, then grab the download link in the description box of this video. So book number one. Why do I recommend this book? How will it be beneficial to you? And where can you get these practice materials to start with? Let's see. I am recommending this book not because I used it, but because it is the standard book every IELTS test taker uses. In fact, it is the first book you must look out for once you book for the test and then you make the other books supplementary. The reason is the passage structure, the question format, the arrangement, and everything about the Cambridge IELTS academic book is similar to what you'll be meeting on the D-Day. This is not to say that you have the same passages or questions, but something close to that. The Cambridge IELTS academic student book is beneficial because it will make you have a vivid picture of how the actual reading test is. It makes you have a feel of the exam. The Cambridge IELTS Academic book comes in many volumes. The latest volume is the IELTS Academic 17, whilst the old volume is the IELTS Academic 1. However, if you should ask me, I would advise you get from volume 7 to the latest. So from 7 to 17. I know 18 will be coming very soon. But I mean, 7 to 17 is fine. How do you get the volumes of all these books? Check in the description box for all the links to get this book up to the latest version. Book number two. This book is so magical. What magic did it make for me? Well, it helped me to prepare by going the extra mile. It was much more of an extra oil for me and that is why I recommend you use it. I specifically used this book to train myself in managing my time in the IELTS reading test. You see, good time management is a key factor to passing the IELTS reading test. If you can also watch this video, you will learn how the IELTS 101 reading pass papers increase my confidence in passing the IELTS reading test once and for all. Book number three. Reading actual test volume 1 to 6. This is also another wonderful reading test practice materials you can download to help you practice. The passages are a bit longer than the Cambridge, which means that it would help you to go the extra mile in your preparation. It's a supplementary book to the Cambridge. So what this means is that should you have it, it's like it's a supporting material to help you pass this um, test once and for all. These are the books I recommend you use for your IELTS academic reading test practice. If this video has been helpful to you, what I will say is that my subsequent videos will be much, much more helpful. So what I intend you to do is to hit the subscribe button of this video and then become part of the family. So that whatever video I share, YouTube will quickly notify you.